So I just got off the water here. It's fall here in Michigan. Great time of the year to fish. I mean, the fish are feeding up towards winter and they're really focused on bait. So if you're thinking about baits that you have to have tied on in the fall, I've got five of them right here that I just won't leave home without. So first and foremost, a KVD 1.5 square bill. I mean, that is my go-to shallow crankbait. You know, we make different colors to match the forage, whether you're looking at perch, bluegill, shad, whatever it happens to be in the system. It's just a great bait, whether you're fishing shallow cover in the back of a creek or you're cranking grass out on a main lake flat. It's a go-to bait for me for that four to six, seven foot zone anywhere I go in the country. It's just a great fish catcher. You know, another bait that is a great fish catcher is a thunder cricket. So a vibrating jig, you know, I usually put a blade minnow on it. It's a tremendous, tremendous big bass catcher. I, I use it in clear water. It's a great smallmouth bait. And again, it's just another tool that is very different than a square bill, gives off a lot of vibration, and the bass are really, really drawn to it. Again, the fall, it's all about bait. Whether they're feeding on bluegill, shad, perch, shiners, alewives, blueback herring, you know, I really want to match that type of forage, and these are all baits that I can do that with. You know, another bait is a jerk bait. I'll use a jerk bait around schooling fish, but I also fish it around any edge. You know, it's just a, a high percentage bait that I can get a ton of reaction strikes out of. If I've got clear water, you can bet that I'm going to be throwing a jerk bait in the fall. Another bait is a spinner bait. What better lure is there to imitate bait fish? It's super versatile because you can fish it super shallow. I can burn it right underneath the surface in clear water. I can slow roll it around laydowns and logs. I can fish it around boat docks. I can throw it around bushes. I mean, it is top to bottom a bait that you can really control the depth zone of. And again, pick a color that matches the forage in the system that you're fishing. And it's just a go-to. So day in, day out, I'm always thinking about a spinnerbait, usually a double willow in the fall. I like those you know, willow blade combinations to imitate those bait fish, but it really just depends on the water clarity. You know, if you get a big rain, like we've had lately, we've had a lot of hurricanes and things like that. Some of the lakes have rise, the backs of the creeks get dirty. That Colorado blade spinnerbait can be really, really good, but a spinnerbait is something you should never leave home without in the fall of the year, for sure. Last but not least, a swimmer. You gotta have several sizes usually of rage swimmers. You know, I mean, a swim bait is just a great bait fish imitator. Again, depending on what size head you put it on, I can fish it top to bottom and it just, it's gonna catch fish. It's gonna imitate the bait. Anywhere that I go, I can match a color, whether it's shad, bluegill, perch, whatever it happens to be, and the size, whether it's a 275 or all the way up to a really big one, I can use the right size swim bait to match the forage in the system that I'm in. These five baits, are baits that you should not leave home without in the fall of the year.